Welcome to SGH Patient Education Session on Robotic Assisted Laparoscopic Radical Prostatectomy. The objectives for the patient education session are as followed. Prostate cancer is an abnormal growth of tissue in the prostate, which is a walnut-sized gland found only in men. The prostate is a small gland below the bladder and in front of the rectum. It produces nutrients and fluid for semen in men. This slide highlights the importance of pre-op care and appointment schedule before your surgery. Within one week upon collection of your admission kit, you will receive short message service on the following. Pre-admission center date, surgery admission date, financial cost estimation. Pre-admission center is an appointment with anesthetist. He or she will assess and to make sure you are fit for the surgery. It is important to inform your doctor earlier if you are taking blood thinning medications such as aspirin, Plavix, or warfarin. You may need to stop at least 5 to 7 days before the surgery. Do check with your doctor on the duration. Patient education session will include the necessary information about your surgery, urinary catheter care, hospital stay, follow-up care after surgery, pelvic floor exercise. Commencement of your pelvic floor exercise early has shown faster recovery of bladder control after surgery. Robotic-assisted laparoscopic radical prostatectomy refers to the removal of the entire prostate gland using a highly sophisticated machine called Da Vinci Surgical System. Admission types may be short-stay ward or same-day admission. The duration of surgery is approximately 4 hours. The robotic-assisted radical prostatectomy is performed through six small 1 cm keyhole incisions across the abdomen. As the wound is smaller, your recovery will be faster and the pain would also be minimal. During the surgery, bleeding may occur from blood vessels around the prostate. However, blood loss is usually minimal. A surgical drain bottle will be connected to the body to allow it to be drained out after surgery. Drain care and wound dressing will be done daily or whenever dressing is soaked. The surgical drain bottle will be removed when output is minimal before your discharge from the hospital. You will go home with the urinary catheter. Teaching of the urinary catheter care by the ward nurse will be done on the second post-op day or whenever you are ready. A urinary leg bag with straps will be given by ward nurse to provide convenience and comfort to you. You will be given an appointment to meet SGH Euro Oncology Nurse for the removal of your urinary catheter and reinforcement on the training of pelvic floor muscle exercise. It is important to take note that no digital rectal examination, suppository, or fleet enema after your robotic surgery. Do not remove your indwelling urine catheter without your surgeon's instructions. This is a comparison of wound, open surgery versus keyhole surgery. We are using Da Vinci Surgical System for all our robotic radical prostatectomy surgery now. Open surgery is no longer practiced in SGH. It is important for wound dressing to be done post-op to prevent wound infection. Daily wound dressing will be done by ward nurse. You will monitor for fever, redness, swelling or bleeding from the wound area and inform nurse whenever there is a concern. Robotic radical prostatectomy refers to the removal of the entire prostate gland. This is a comparison of before and after surgery. The benefits of robotic surgery are listed as follows. Less bleeding, less pain, less scarring, smaller incisions, shorter hospital stays, faster recovery, quicker return to normal activities. This page highlights the importance of appointment dates and post-op care for you after your surgery. Immediate post-op care includes avoiding constipation by increasing fluid intake and taking high-fiber diet if it is not contraindicated. Keep wound clean and dry. Detailed instructions on how you can take care of your wound will be educated by ward nurse in charge. It is advised for you to wear supportive undergarments to prevent swelling of scrotum. Resume normal activities gradually as your condition improves. Begin with gentle exercise such as short walks several times a day. You must avoid strenuous activities or lifting heavy objects greater than 5 kg for at least 3 months after surgery. 1 to 2 weeks after your discharge from hospital, you will meet SGH Euro-Oncology Nurse for the removal of your urinary catheter. 
post-op care and training of pelvic floor muscle exercise will be reinforced to prevent urinary leakage. You are advised to seek medical attention if you are experiencing possible post-op conditions after surgery, such as heavy blood stained in the urine, fever, or difficulty passing urine due to blockage. For follow-up, you will be reminded to do PSA blood test prior to your next scheduled appointment to see doctor. The possible common issue raised after your surgery may include catheter management. You may experience urine leakage. The bladder may go into spasm, forcing urine down the catheter. This is expected as a urinary catheter is in place. You can wear a light pad to help with the leakage, swelling or scrotum and penis. This may develop four to six days after surgery, but usually eases by two weeks. Wearing supportive underwear can help to ease swelling and discomfort. Bowel management for constipation and bloating. This is common side effect. It is advisable for you to take lactulose syrup to soften your stools. Increase your daily fibers and fluid intake. Do not use any types of enemas or suppositories for the next three months immediate after surgery. The possible complications after your surgery may include Continence health on urinary leakage. Urinary leaking can be three to six months or more than a year. Early commencement of pelvic floor muscle exercise early has shown faster recovery of bladder control after surgery. Sexual health and erectile dysfunction. Nerves responsible for erections lie close to the prostate and may be affected by the surgery. Discuss with your doctor for more information on penile rehabilitation. Urinary leakage is common after robotic radical prostatectomy but the duration and extent of urinary incontinence or leakage varies between individual. You may recover your continence within three to six months, or more than a year after surgery. It is recommended for you to wear pant diaper or a light pad to help with the leakage. You are advised to do pelvic floor muscle exercise daily to strengthen your pelvic floor muscle, hence to prevent urinary leakage. You are encouraged to start training your pelvic floor muscle exercise early, even before the surgery. This is to strengthen pelvic floor muscle. Hence to prevent urinary leakage. How do I find the muscles? To pull your rectum or urethra up inside your body. Alternatively, imagine you are in strong urge to go to the toilet, but you have to hold on. Before you start training your pelvic floor muscle exercise, make sure to urinate so your bladder is empty. When you are ready, follow these steps. Slow contraction. Tighten your pelvic floor muscle, hold the contraction for 5 seconds, and then relax the muscle slowly, and count for 5 seconds. Do it 10 times in a row, 3 sets every day. Fast contraction. Tighten your pelvic floor muscle, and then relax the muscle slowly. Do it 10 times a row, 3 sets every day. Doing these exercise every day will help strengthen your pelvic floor muscle and reduce urinary leakage. When your muscles get stronger, try doing pelvic floor muscle exercise while you are sitting, standing, or walking. Maintain your focus. You are advised to seek medical attention if you are experiencing high fever which is more than 38 degrees Celsius, heavily bloodstained urine or unable to pass urine due to blockage. During office hour, you may call SGH Central Appointment at 6321437 for an urgent appointment to SGH Urology Center or go to SGH Emergency Department after office hour. This questionnaire is designed to measure quality of life issues in patients with prostate cancer. Please scan the QR code with your mobile device to complete the form. To help us get the most accurate measurement, it is important that you answer all questions honestly and completely. Remember, as with all medical records, information contained within this survey will remain strictly confidential. We hope you understand the brief overview with regards to this topic. Please contact our SGH Urology Center for consultation and clarification. Thank you.